But she can't be Leah. Leah has blonde hair. Well, boy, there is a thing called hair dye. Maybe she just dyed her hair. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Gacha Life mini movie. Today's story is called The Alpha's Promise and this one has been made by somebody called Sayado. I'm gonna leave a link to their channel down in the description so do make sure to go over there and show some love. I checked out their channel and they make amazing stories so I definitely recommend it and I'm really excited for this one because you guys have been suggesting it. If you're excited for today's story make sure to leave a like on the video and now let's get into the Gacha. Okay we have a very unimpressed looking girl. I'm so sorry I'm late. Again, it's fine. But heck, you are so messy. You need a jacket. Have you heard about the new students in our school? Students? Yeah, they said there's gonna be two new students. Maybe it's some hot rich boys. Okay, they've made it into the school. Hey April, finally you guys are here. Hey, what's up with all the lads? Well, the new students are here. And guess what? They're both hot freaking alpha boys. It's the alphas. Oh my my goodness, look at them. They're so beautiful. The brown haired dude looks so familiar. I promise, I'll come back for you. Why do you have to go? They say alphas aren't allowed here. I'm an alpha too. You're not an alpha, Leah. You're just an omega, just like the rest of your family. Now, I need to go. Someone will see me. Promise me you'll come and find me in the future. I promise. Oh, they pinky promised. I'm gonna miss you, Jacob. I'm gonna miss you too, Leah. Something to remind me by. Thank you, Jacob. I'll always keep it safe. Oh, he gave her a a scarf. That's so cute. Stupid me. Why would you think that? It's been six years. Just forget about it. But I'll always keep the scarf safe. Wait, I'm late for English class. Hi, my name is Leah. I'm an Omega, but I'm not just an ordinary Omega. The whole school calls me the Psycho Omega. Because if I transform to my pure Omega wolf, I'll turn into a Psycho Crazy Omega. Oh my goodness. What is going on? <laughs> She's a Psycho Crazy Omega. She's very scary looking. Okay, girl, you're gonna be late. Oh no. You're late, Leah. Sorry, Miss B. It's fine. Don't be late tomorrow, okay? Now go and sit in your seat. You're my partner? Where's my old partner? The teacher said that he moved school. I guess that you're my new partner then. I'm Leah, by the way. Beck. Beck Smith. Oh, they're making friends. Look at that. Beck. My friend is here. I'll see you later then. Sure. Well, this is awkward. They're both just staring at each other. What's up with him? Her eyes. The only person I know who has those eyes are Leah. But she can't be Leah. Leah has blonde hair. Well, boy, there is a thing called hair dye. Maybe she just dyed her hair. Hey, Beck. Yeah? The girl earlier in English class? Who? Leah? Her name's Leah? Yeah, why? N never mind. She's not the only one who has the same name Leah. My other Leah would be in New York or something. She's pretty cute, right? What? Who? Leah. Oh, you're Leah. I mean, I guess. Hey guys, what did I miss? April. April is in love with Lucy. Lucy? Lucy even called her ugly. How come you like her? Listen, there's a thing called love at first sight, okay? Okay, okay, we're sorry. Whatever. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Sure, what about? I don't know why, but I kind of want to know about the alphas in our school. Have you met them? Yeah, only Beck. I don't know the other one. I can tell you the details. Wait up. Oh, she's pulling out her phone. Found it. Let's see. Okay, who do you want to know about first? Um, Beck. Beck Smith. His father is the most trustworthy and most successful alpha in Chicago. His mother died when he was eight. They say that he's the sweetest and the most respectful alpha. You can say that again. He literally gave his number to all of the girls here. His best friend is also an alpha. His name is Jacob's son. But he, on the other hand, is rude. He's never been good at any subjects. He always gets Fs. His family is the most powerful alpha family, yet he's rich and, and what? Whoever wrote this, I bet it's a crazy fangirl. It said here, he's rich and so gosh damn hot. Seriously, I know. Do all of the alphas have their own wiki pages? How did she find all of this information? Why do you even want to know about them anyways? Um, just because. Does Leah have a crush? Ew, I just met him guys. I don't even know the other dude. Show her the picture. Look at this. Oh, she's so embarrassed. So, who's the hottest one? I don't know. Pick one. I don't know. They're both the same. So, you think they're both the hottest ones? Um, you like them both? Love, Love triangle. triangle. You guys are so weird. This is such an awkward moment. If I was in her situation, I don't know how I'd respond. Being told you have to pick one. <laughs> so awkward. So embarrassing. 
Oh no, she's like falling down the stairs. But it's okay, because Mr. Alpha's here to save her. You, you transformed into your alpha form. Yeah, so? The principal might see you. Look, you were about to fall. Oh, he's changing back. I'm guessing there's rules about changing into your alpha form during school and that you're not allowed to do it because you're at your most powerful. That makes sense. There, are you happy now? Hey, look, if you want to ask for my number, sorry to break it to you, but I don't give my number to strangers. As if he thinks I'm asking for his number. I just wanted to say thank you. Hey, Caitlin, what's up? Can you come to the library? But my library duty is tomorrow. I have some work to do. Can you please take mine? I promise I'll pay you back. All right, all right, see you there. This place is a mess. I know. That's why I called you here. The teacher said I had to get some stuff at the public library, but the student president told me to clean the library at school. But you know I can't do two things at the same time, so it's okay. I'll clean it. Thank you, Leah. You're a lifesaver. Oh, girl, this is a big job. How are you gonna do it? Oh, she's just sweeping it all away. If only cleaning was that simple. You could just sweep it all away. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what we have here. The Psycho Omega. Are you guys seriously doing this right Right now. There's people here. Oh yeah, you're right. Caleb, will you do the honor? Oh no, he's changing into an alpha. Everyone, get out of this library. Or I promise your life will be messed up. Now everyone has gone. What is he doing? Oh no, he snatched her scarf. Hey, give it back. You mean this garbage scarf? Yeah. Give it back. Sure, come take it. Why would you even care about this trash? Dad would hate me if that happened again. Hey, <gasps> he's mad. It's the Alpha. Leave her alone or I swear. Okay, okay, we'll leave. Yes, boys, get out of here. Me too. Hold it. Give me the thing that you're holding. This thing? Here, have it. Is this yours? Yeah. It is. Here. Thank you so much. It's whatever. This scarf is very important to me. Why? It's complicated and dumb, but it's just important to me, that's all. Thank you. I guess he is right. You are pretty cute, to be honest. Ew. Okay, that's enough, Mr. Flirty Guy. He for sure is not my Jacob's son. Anyway, don't you need to go to class? Yeah, but that's boring. What about you? I have to stay here until my next period. I'm kinda upset, though. It's music class right now. I wish I could go. You like music? Indeed. I love to sing. My dream is to be a success in New York and, you know, be famous there. I know it's kinda dumb. I mean... Leah is not the only one who wanted to go to New York. I'm pretty sure a lot of people wish that. Why are they failing to make the connection that they know each other? She has the same scarf, she has the same name, and she has the same dream. How can you not tell it's her? What about you? Well, I'm pretty sure I hate all of the subjects in this school, but I like PE. I like to run. You're an athlete? Yeah. Congratulations for being the first runner on sports day. Thanks, Leah. I'm really trying my best for next year. Are you going to run every day? You don't even have time for me. I'm sorry, Leah. I'm gonna run so fast that you won't even see me. That makes no sense. It does if you're smart. Says the one who hates all of the subjects. Says the one who sings like a dead pig. Oh, so savage. There's no need. Hey, is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. Can't you see it's her? Look, it's the same person. Anyways, I think you should head to class. Yeah. You're right. Be careful, okay? All right, bye, Blueberry. No one ever calls me Blueberry. All right, well, she's waking up, Courtney. Why are you here, Courtney? You said you didn't want to be late to school anymore, so I came to your house early. Dude, it's 5 a.m. I know. Your friendship needs help. Your sister is so scary. Yeah, I know. Hey, Courtney, are you ready to go? Yep. Lynn, don't forget to throw away the trash. That's your class? Yeah, I'll see you at lunch then. All right, bye. Oh no, this is awkward now. Both both of the boys have a crush on her. You're early today. Yeah, yeah. Quite impressive. Yeah. Hey, partner. Hey, Beck. All right, class. As for today, you will do a partner project. You will partner up with the student beside you. You will give me your assignment next week. So, where do you want to do the project at? My sister is having a party tonight, so I guess yours? Cool. Oh, hey, Leah, you made it. Wait a second, the boys live together? Hey, Jacob. Oh, you guys know each other? Yeah. No. Um, yeah, we do. I don't think so. What is going on? Why is he denying the fact that he knows her? That is so rude. So, are you guys friends? Yes. No. So, frenemies? Sure. Whatever. Sorry about my roommate. It's fine. Anyways, let's get started. 
sorted. Oh my goodness, they've got so many books out. They've even got potions and a globe. I don't know what they're doing their project about, but it looks insane. Hey, Leah. Yeah? If you don't mind me asking, why do you always wear that scarf? Oh, he's listening at the door. Oh, well, it's kind of a dumb story. You're not dumb. And so those stories are yours. Actually, I think everything about you isn't dumb. Oh. Thanks, I guess. Well, I always wear it because it's from my old friend, my childhood friend. He gave me it when I was 10. One day, the village disliked alphas. And yes, he was an alpha. We were very, very close friends. After the village kicked out all of the alphas, he gave me this scarf to remember him by. That's so sweet. He's sweet. He promised that whatever happens, he'll come looking for me. Surely you have to realize now, boy. It's her. What? What's his name? His name was... Hey, Beck. Oh, hey, Jacob. What's up? Which one is my sweater? We both have the same size and color. Mine says B on the collar. Oh, found mine. Thanks. Oh, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to the store. Do you want anything? A bag of chips for me, please. Can you also buy me some strawberry milk? Sure. Blueberry. Huh? That's new. What do you mean? He never buys anything for anyone besides me and him. He acts different with you. <laughs> he's so cute when he's asleep. Wait, what? Hey, I'm back. He's already asleep. Yeah. What's with gacha characters and falling asleep when they've gone around to someone's house? Or somebody's come around to their house and they fall asleep? Don't you think that's really rude? If I invited my friends over and they just went to sleep without any warning, I think I'd be pretty mad. <laughs> Anyways, here's your strawberry milk. Thanks, Jacob. Here, I should pay you back. You don't have to. Just take it. Thanks, Jacob. Well, I should probably head home now. It's dark outside. Do you want me to walk with you? That would be nice. Oh, she's cold and he's given her his jacket. You still cold? No, thanks for the jacket. Well, this is my stop. Oh, right, your jacket. You can keep it. Really? Thank you. Well, uh, see you later then. Wait, can I have your number? Sorry, I don't give my number to strangers. Remember that? I do, and I'm sorry. You're so cute when you're sad. I'm not. Here, give me your phone and I'll give you my number. Oh, they're so cute. I just wish they'd admit that they know each other. <laughs> Maybe she is the right Leah that I've been looking for. Have I fallen for her? I can't. Besides, Beck likes her too, and Beck's my best friend. I can't do that to him. I mean, I'm pretty sure Leah's gonna pick Beck over me. Beck is more gentleman than I am. I'm just a dumb, rude alpha who thinks everything is mine. You clean the house already? Yeah, mom said she's on her way here, so I had to clean. Unless mom's gonna kill me for having a party. Mom's coming here? Yeah. I can't wait. Wait, hold up. Is that a guy's hoodie? Um, do you have a boyfriend that you're not telling me about? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, she fell asleep in the middle of the day. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Do you wanna maybe hang out with me today? I mean, I understand if you're busy and you don't want to. I would love to. Mom, happy birthday, mom. Thank you, sweetie. That's not here. He'll come this Thursday. He'll, he'll be living at Uncle Mike's house. He's afraid of me. No, no, sweetie. He he just wants to stay with Uncle Mike. That's all. It's fine, Mum. I'm gonna go out with my friend. Hey, Jacob. It was fun. We were talking and laughing and got to know each other more. A few weeks later. Hey, Leah. Do you maybe want to hang out after school? Sure. Hello, Becky. It was great until things got messy. Oh my goodness, I think Beck is in love with her. If you kiss me, you'll mark me. And I don't want to get marked. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I wasn't thinking and it's fine, Beck. I understand. Oh, now things are real awkward. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Beck's run away. What's up with you guys? Well, three days ago, we hung out and he tried to kiss me. He what? Oh, no. He's turned into his alpha form. He's mad. I'm so sorry. Ugh. She's already upset and I'm making her more upset. Hey, you're friends with Leah, right? Yeah. Have you seen her? Yeah, she went to the library. I'm so sorry I made you cry. It's okay. When he... When he tried to kiss you, why did you push him away? Well... First, if he did kiss me, he would mark me. If he did mark me, my dad would kill me and he'd hate me forever. He hates alphas and he's afraid of me. So if Beck marks me, I'll have his mark forever. And after I rejected his kiss, he probably hates me. Beck is not easy on hating people, especially on girls. You can just apologize to him and everything will be fine. I'm bad at apologizing. Hey, listen to me. If you want your friends to like you back, you need to learn how to talk. Oh, look, he said the same thing when he was younger. All right, all right, that's my blueberry. 
<gasps> Are they kissing? Hello? I cannot believe this. She's been marked. This is everything she didn't want to happen. She's crying. Oh no, this is terrible. Jacob, stop. <gasps> she got marked. But then it disappeared. You almost marked me. Didn't I tell you about my dad? You idiot. I guess they were right about you. You are a dumb alpha who thinks everything is yours. And you think that just because you're an alpha, you can just kiss someone. I'm so sorry, Jacob. I didn't mean what I said. She changed her mind real quick there, didn't she? It's fine, because everything you said was true. I shouldn't have kissed you. I should leave you alone. And I'm sorry that I kissed you. Great. Now they both hate me. Hey, guys. You look sad. What's wrong, Leah? I've messed up. What happened? Well, it's complicated. Your girl is in a love triangle, and there's nothing more complicated than a love triangle. As we've seen in many previous gachas, they're just so complicated. You know the alphas that we always talk about? Yeah. Well, Beck tried to kiss me and Jacob kissed me. What? Do you have his mark? No. How? I didn't kiss him back. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. If you had his mark, your dad would hate you. I know. But the problem right now is Jacob and Beck. Beck and I don't talk anymore. And I totally blew off with Jacob. Now they both hate me. Hey, don't say that. They may not want to talk to you, but that doesn't mean that they hate you. I don't know. Why don't you apologize to them and start things over? But I'm not good at- Don't worry, we'll help you. What nice friends. Oh my goodness. BFF squad goals. Okay, so who do you want to apologize to first? Beck, because we haven't talked for a while. Oh, they're giving her tips. And they're practicing what she's going to respond. Thanks, you guys. Now, I really hope they will talk to me again. So, we were right. You do like them both. Jacob or Beck? I can't choose. Love triangle. Ooh, is she actually gonna go and talk to them? I'm so proud of her. She's built up her confidence. You can do it, girl. Hey, Jacob. Oh, he does not look impressed. Nope, he's just left. Well, this is gonna be harder than I expected. I don't know why she's having to apologize anyway. The boys are the ones who made the move. And it didn't go down well, so surely it's their fault. Happy late birthday, honey. Thank you, sweetie. Welcome home, Leah. Dad's just got here. Hey, hey, Dad. How's school, Leah? Pretty good, I guess. Oh, well, this couldn't be more awkward, could it? The dad just really doesn't like Leah, does he? Going out with your boyfriend, eh? You have a boyfriend? No, no, no. He's just a friend. Well, he better just be a friend. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Leah. Hey, Beck. Can we talk? Sure. I'm so sorry for, well, you know. The kiss. I'm sorry that you don't feel the same way. No, no, no. I, I do. It's just that Leah explained about her dad's situation. So you like me? Heh. <sighs> But how do I get your dad to trust me? I have no idea. But I also need to tell you something else. I like you. And Jacob. What? Since when? The night he walked me to my house. But don't worry, don't worry. I like you both the same. Except me and Jacob aren't really talking anymore. I think he hates me. Why? I can't tell him. I might ruin their friendship. Um, personal issues. Oh, well... He's inside. You could talk things out with him. Come on, let's go in. Oh, isn't he sweet? I really don't think he's going to be impressed that she's arrived. I'll be in my room. I guess you worked things out with you and Beck, huh? Yeah, and I also wanted to give you this. My hoodie. I thought I told you to keep it. Yeah, but I thought after what happened between us, you might hate me and you might feel uncomfortable for me keeping it. Oh, he took it. I don't hate you. I would never hate you. And I will never hate you. But why did you ignore me at school? I don't know. I guess I was sad. And mad. I'm glad you don't hate me. How can I hate on this cute little blueberry? Oh, I'm just so happy that everyone is friends again. And now hopefully it won't be awkward anymore. Fingers crossed. What is this feeling? Is it jealousy? I've never been jealous before. Especially towards my best friend. Beck's not here yet. He's probably busy. I'm gonna call him. I understand. Bye. So? It's his father's anniversary with his mother, so... They're going to a grave. Well, I guess it's just you meeting him. Are you ready? Ready as I could ever be. Oh my gosh, she's taken him to meet her dad. This is gonna be crazy. I hope everything goes well. Okay, here they are. Hey, dad. You brought an alpha to our house? I just wanted to- You don't know how much I hate alphas. This just went terribly. It couldn't have gone worse. Sir, I'm sorry if I made you mad, but please don't make Leah cry. 
or hurt her. She wanted to introduce me to you, and it was my idea, not hers. So if you have anything to say, you can say it to me. Why would you even care for a Psycho Omega? Sir, if you really are Leah's father, you would know that she's not just a Psycho Omega. Get out, both of you. They didn't even do anything wrong. The dad's just a bit evil, I think. Why would you say that? It was just a test to see if he would stand up for Leah, but he did, and I don't believe it. He's an alpha. And he seems like he actually cares for Leah. All this time, I thought her only friends were April and Courtney. I guess there are some people out there who would care for a Psycho Omega. But that boy was Parker Sun's son. He is? Yes, he has his mark. Don't cry. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She thinks her dad is being evil. But it was just a test, apparently. A test to make your child cry. The worst test in history. Is that Leah's dad? I should say something. Good morning, sir. No. Nope. He walks away, and he's still walking away. But oh no, some thugs have appeared. What do you people want? We want money. Leave him alone. Oh, the alpha has saved the dad. I honestly didn't really need you. Wow, nice way to say thank you. What makes you hate me so much? You want me to tell you why? It's because of your rude, dumb, selfish father. Do you really like Leah? Yeah. Well, your father doesn't. The first day he met my daughter, Leah was only four years old. And do you know what he called her? He called her a psycho crazy brat Omega. He said that Leah doesn't deserve the world. He said that she was ugly. There, that's why I hate him so much. I do care about Leah. I'm just not really around her, so people don't notice it. If people did know, they'd know where she lives and they'd hurt her feelings. That seems like the craziest excuse that I've ever heard in my life. And it doesn't make any sense. Oh, hey son, cut the rubbish. You don't even care about me. So don't think about calling me son. Do you know Connor Blank? Oh yeah, my man when we were back in high school. Is it true that you said his daughter doesn't deserve the world? You know his daughter? Of course I do. And I love her, but I can't because her dad hates me and he doesn't trust me. You took everything away from me. You left my mom, you took my house and you took the one person that I care about away. I just wish that you would do something good for me. Gosh, I'm such a bad father. I should do something. Oh, is he going to apologize? Well, this was a turn of events that I wasn't expecting to happen. It's been a long time, Parker. What do you want? Look, man, I just wanted to say sorry for all of the bad things that I did back then. So you think that saying my daughter doesn't deserve the world makes you cooler? Heh, <sighs> look. My son wants to be with your daughter. He said he loves her, but he can't if you don't trust him. I know you won't forgive me, but please let my son do what he loves. He hates me. Also here, a sorry gift. Blueberry muffins? Yeah, like back when we were in middle school. You mean when we were actually friends? Yeah, look, we all want the best for our kids, you know? I mean, we're both dads. We should really support each other. Welcome home, darling. Hey, honey, what's that? It's blueberry muffins and it's from Parker. Parker's son. He said he was sorry and that he really hopes his son will be friends with Leah. You mean the boy from yesterday? Yeah. I honestly think that it's not such a bad idea. I think he's genuinely really interested and cares about Leah, so I'm gonna give him a chance. That's really sweet, honey, and this is what I love about you. Hey, Leah, can we talk? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I acted yesterday. I was just shocked, but after I saw the way that he treated you, I was wrong about how I think about him. I thought he was a cold-hearted person, but I think you might be very happy around him, and he might be as well. So, I'll let you be around him. As a father, I always wanted my daughter to be happy. Thanks, Dad. Also, you're not mad at me if I bring him around, right? Yeah. So, would you accept him if he was my boyfriend? What? It's okay if you don't, because I can just tell him that. If he makes you happy, then I'll be happy for you as well. Well, Dad, the thing is, he's not the only alpha I like. Wait, you have two boyfriends? No, I don't even have a boyfriend. Yet. I know you've been hanging out with those two alphas. I followed you. I think it was the smart boy and the hot boy. Beck Smith, I think. Beck Smith? Son of Henry Smith? Wow, I never thought my daughter would be friends with Beck Smith. Yeah, but who are you going to pick? Well, that's the problem. I don't care who you choose, but whatever you pick, I'll just be happy for you and I'll support you. Thanks, Dad. Well, I'm gonna go to April's house today. 
I heard her and Courtney have some kind of idea. Well, good luck finding your true love. Back home already, sweetie? So, any ideas how you're going to pick your loved one? Yeah, I do. So, I'm gonna date one of them for three months, then I'm gonna date the other one for three months as well. Wow, this girl has choices. She's putting both of the boys on a trial period. I'd be really surprised if the boys were okay with that. That is a very strange way of doing things, but okay. And I'll see who I'll fall for first. And then, one of them can back me. And we'll be officially a couple. Sounds like a great idea. They both look like they hate each other. Did I ruin their friendship? Hey guys. Hey, hey Blueberry. Well, uh, I have some news. Starting tomorrow, I'll be dating Jacob for three months. Then after that, I'll date Beck for three months. Why Jacob first? Because his name reminds me of Justin Bieber. Girl, they are not similar at all. She has a crazy mind. I don't know how it works. You know, JB. Seriously, JB, Jacob Beck, Justin Bieber. So is she a big fan of Justin Bieber or something? If that's how she makes her decisions. So after I've dated you both for three months, I have three months to choose. Whoever I choose can officially mark me. And while we're dating, please don't mark or kiss me until I choose. And I'm looking at you, Jacob. Why? Uh, he tried to mark me. Wait, Leah didn't tell Beck that I kissed her? Well, I guess she didn't want us to fight. Anyways, guys, ready? Three months with Jacob. Oh, they make a cute couple, to be fair. Do you want some? Sure. Look at them sharing. Wait, something wrong, Blueberry? No, no, everything is fine. It doesn't look fine to me. Hey, Leah, I need to tell you something. What is it? I'm Jacob's son. I know that. I'm your childhood Jacob's son. It's me, Flash Kid. How do I know that you're not lying? Oh, Leah, one day I'm gonna run so fast that you can't even see me. You still don't believe me? Well, when we were kids, you used to call me JJ. I've missed you. Girl, it's about time you found out. How was it not obvious beforehand? I will never know. At first, I wasn't sure that you were the right Leah. But then after I saw the way that you act and your family members have blonde hair, that's when I realized that you were my little Leah. I've been searching for you my whole life. I promise that I'll never leave you ever again. And you'll always stay by my side no matter what. Three months with Beck. Thanks for walking me home, Beck. That's what future boyfriends do, right? Oh, why does she have the skull mark appear on her face? That's suspicious. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Is it just in my head? Or did I just see Jacob's mark on Leah? Ugh. Don't tell me. Jacob kissed her. Gosh, Jacob never understands anything. Today's the day that I choose. Miss, look out. Oh no, don't tell me a car's gonna hit her. Hey, Jacob, I just wanted to let you know that whoever Leah chooses will just be happy for each other. All right, bros for life, bros for life. Oh, they're both being wrong. Leah's mom is calling me. Leah's dad is calling me. All right, all right, I'll be there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Did you get the news? Yeah, we need to go now. Oh, I remember now. In the last part, she got hit by a car, I think. Which is terrible news, because how is she gonna make her decision if she's in the hospital? Oh no, everybody's here and they're all so sad. Where is she? She's in the room. She's doing surgery because of the both of you. She had a car accident at the crossroads. Where were you guys? You were supposed to protect her. She told us to wait at the park. Well, you should have been with her. Dude, I feel so guilty. It's not just you. The surgery didn't go so well. I'm sorry. Can I talk to Mr. Blank? So, what is it? I know that your daughter is a psycho omega wolf. She lost a lot of blood. She might not survive. I mean, it's just a car accident. What? So we just discovered that the owner of the car was speeding because he was a criminal. He had in fact murdered someone at a store and then drove away super fast. He didn't see your daughter. He died because of the accident. And so will your daughter if we can't manage to help her. That is such terrible news. Also, I don't think that's how doctors actually deliver such horrible, life-changing news. I feel like she was pretty harsh. Leah is in a very bad condition. She's losing a lot of blood. She has a 5% chance of living. And the doctors think that she might not survive. Is there anything we can do to help? Mr. Smith, can I talk to you alone? Sure. Do you really want to help Leah Blank? Of course I do. Your mother is a witch. Am I correct? Yeah. Well, you should go home and ask your father if he has the golden bracelet. Okay. What in the world is a golden bracelet and how is it going to help Leah? I am so confused right now. Where are the others? The folks and Lynn, they went in and Courtney went home. Wait. 
You can't go in? No, it's only family members. We should go home now. It's getting super late. Where are you going? I'm going to my dad's. Oh, wow. Look at his dad. What is he, a YouTuber? Why is he being filmed? He's still interviewing. Finally, after 37 interviews. Anyways, son, why are you here? I was just wondering if you still have mom's stuff. Like, pictures? No, like her witchcraft stuff. I have some of it, yeah. Well, do you happen to know about a thing called the golden bracelet? I think I do, why? Well, I just, I just need it. Do you have it? I don't think so. I think I sold it. I sold it to Grandpa. He still has it. He's at his old workshop. Hey, Gramps. It's been a long time. Heh. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, my dad said that you have my mother's, um, my mother's witch stuff. Yes, I still have some of it. So, does that mean that you have my mom's golden bracelet? The golden bracelet? Yeah, I think I have it. I found it. What is it anyways? You don't know? Nope. They talk about this in middle school. Well, I wasn't paying attention then. This bracelet is a magical bracelet. Why? Well, this bracelet can heal people. Heal people? Yes but it can only heal them if they're still alive. If the person is dead, you can't bring them back to life again. But if the person is still alive and they're about to die, they still have some time to help the person. You can use this bracelet. Um, For example, there was a wife who had cancer. She only had a 5% chance of living and the husband didn't want her wife to die. So he uses a bracelet to heal her. But in order to heal, the husband must give his life away. Oh my goodness, so this bracelet allows you to exchange your life to heal somebody else. That's crazy. What? The husband sacrificed his life for the person that he loves the most. If the person A uses the bracelet to heal person B, then the person A has to die. That's the rule of it. But in order to use the bracelet, you have to truly love the other person. That's why the doctor asked for it. But how do I know that it's not fake? Try to wear it. See if it glows or not. Oh wow, it is glowing. But is he really gonna sacrifice his life? I guess it's not fake then. I need this. I really, really need this. How much is it? I'll take it. Oh, you can have it. It seems like you really need it. Thank you, Gramps. Beck, if you're the one who's going to do it, I just want to say goodbye. I am so confused. Would your grandparent really just let you give your life away like that? I think mine would be shook. That's crazy. Grandpa's just like, okay, if you're gonna use it, then like, let's have a hug, say goodbye. The next day. So, you said you had news? I found a way to save Leah. How? I'm going to use the golden bracelet. Do you guys guys know what this is? Yes. No. Kinda. What is it? I can save Leah, but in order to do that, I have to die. Wait, what? Can't it be someone else? Yes, but the other person has to truly love Leah. I love Leah. I'll do it. No, Jacob. I'll do it. I mean, you guys love Leah but she's your family. And if one of you can do it, you can't see her graduate. You can't touch her again. And Jacob, I know you love her. Both of us do. But I know that she loves you the most. You don't know that. I do. When she's with you, she smiles twice as wide as when she's with me. I mean, it's pretty simple. You guys knew each other since you were both five. Beck! I cannot believe how selfless Beck is. He's going to sacrifice his own life to bring Leah back. That is true love. I understand. But when are you going to do this? Next week, I want to spend the last moments with my family and my friends. Oh look, he's having fun for his last week. That is so sad. Hey Beck, are you really sure you want to do this? Jacob, it's okay. Gosh, I can't believe I hated you months ago just because of a girl. She's not just a girl, Jacob. Yeah, let's not talk about Leah right now. Dude, I've known you since we were both 12, and now our chapter is about to end. Heh, <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, dude. You're my best friend. I love you, dude. Jeez. I've never seen you cry before. So what are you going to talk about? Well, do you remember last time that I asked you about the golden bracelet? Well, the reason why I asked is because I'm going to use it. What? Do you know what it will do to you? I know. But why? Because I love her and I don't want her to die. She's so different from the other girls. She was the first girl that I've ever fallen in love with. And I, I also think that it's time for me to be with mom now. I didn't manage to save mom, but I could maybe save the girl I love. Beck. Beck Smith. My son, I love you and I can't stop you from doing anything. I will miss you, son. So when will you go? This Sunday. All right, pack your bags. We're gonna go camping like we used to do. But what about your interviews? I'm going to cancel them all. 
My son is way more important than some silly interviews. Oh, look at them spending some time together. How sad is this though? I'm getting quite emotional. Tomorrow's the day you're gonna leave, huh? You know it. Jacob, I wanna wish you the best of luck with Leah. I hope you can treat her right and remind her that I love her a lot. Oh, he's getting ready to go in and off he goes. Oh no, she looks so sick. All of the color has gone from her hair. She's getting her blonde hair back. Oh, he's put the bracelet on and it's time. Oh. Oh, look, he marked her before he died. Goodbye, Leah Blank. Oh, he's gone. As if he just disappeared like that. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting him to just poof into thin air. She's waking up now. She's going to be so confused. Explain. He sacrificed his life for me? Oh, she's so sad. That poor girl. I bet she feels so guilty. I know I would. After a few weeks... I couldn't get over Beck. But for all of those weeks, I wasn't alone. Jacob was there for me. Always there for me. And I don't know what I would do without him. So, after a few weeks passed, I accepted him as my boyfriend. I promise that I'll always love you. And I'll always support you. And I have a new chapter of life with Jacob. We all graduated. And surprisingly, me and Jacob got to be in the same college. Now open. We get to be in the same college. I'm gonna miss this room. Hey, Leah. Oh, hey, Dad. Are you ready to go to Yale? Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I've got to take my last things from the drawer. All right, I'll be in the car. Do you want me to take this stuff? Sure. By the way, I'm really happy for you that you dyed your hair back to natural. Heh. <laughs> oh, it's all old pictures pictures of them together. That is so sad. I still care about you, Beck. All right, ready to go, Blueberry? My hair is blonde now, so you don't have to call me that anymore. I can't. It fits you. A couple of years after, Jacob and I got married, and we had a beautiful son. And guess what we named him? Good morning, Becky. Morning, Mummy. Oh my goodness, they named him Beck. And there is Beck as an angel in the background. That was such a good story, guys. But my my goodness was it emotional if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like on the video and if you want to watch another one of mine you can click here and let's go watch it together